All right, let's kick this off. Um, you've probably seen my face a few times over the last three days, but if you haven't, my name is Haley Sampson and I serve UAGC and the Faculty Affairs Department as the Associate Director of Faculty Engagement. And I am thrilled to um, welcome you all to the 10th Annual UAGC Teaching and Learning Conference Awards Ceremony. All right. First up, um, the I want to share uh, this list of individuals, some of whom you see on your screen today. For the past uh, 11 months, these individuals have been working behind the scenes diligently and making TLC a part of their everyday work to bring you the last three days of learning. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone on this committee, and I hope to see you next year as well, because I feel like we have a good thing going here. Next, this longer list of individuals, um, hopefully everyone can read it. I had to make the font a little smaller to fit everyone's name on the screen, but this is our list of volunteers. These are 90 individuals that have been supporting this conference in some way, shape, or form, um, from being a tech host to a session host over the last three days to reviewing pr the proposals that were submitted and our TLC ambassadors who have been out there getting the word out about um, our wonderful, incredible conference and contributing to our committee there. So appreciate sending everyone so much love. Um, and I hope I have not missed everyone, but I did check my list twice. So I apologize if I did. It was absolutely not intentional, not intentional. Um, so we are going to... Um, we are going to share some awards here in just a moment, but before we do, I'd like to share some conference highlights. As I have um, shared earlier throughout this week, this conference represents the 10th annual UAGC Teaching and Learning Conference. So for 10 years, the teaching and this, co this community has been coming together to learn more about whatever themes that we are teasing out. And that is a, a true commitment. And I know we have some folks here who have um, either been to all 10 TLC conferences, or perhaps this is your first TLC conference. So I'd love to see um, some love for those of you who have been here for 10 years, and um, also for those of you who are here for the first time. Seeing some celebration in the emojis. Thank you all for sharing. Uh, next, this year TLC sold out twice. So thank you all again for attending. We had more than 900 attendees from over, and we've checked this number twice, 200, 200 higher education institutions or in organizations affiliated with higher education. That is an incredible community coming together for three days. For those three days, we had over 100 presentations delivered by individuals representing more than 30 higher education institutions. So um, I, I just want you to know um, you are among an incredibly diverse community. And um, speaking of conference highlights, I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Teresa Handy and Dr. Jennifer Robinson to share more about a conference, a TLC conference highlight. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is truly a fun time to be here at the end. Um, I am the, my name is Dr. Teresa Handy, and I'm the program chair and assistant professor for the Gen 101 program in the UAGC School of General Studies. And I'm here with my colleague who will introduce herself. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Jen Robinson. I'm the program chair for information literacy and an associate professor in the School of General Studies. Jen and I are the co-editors of the UAGC TLC Conference Proceedings, and that's why we're here today to share an update on this new and exciting addition to TLC. A few months ago, I presented the idea to Dr. Teresa Couric and Haley Sampson from Faculty Affairs, and they were thrilled to support this publication as it supports UAGC's dedication to scholarship and sharing of innovative research. I then reached out to Jen, who also had an interest in the development of, conference, of the conference proceedings, and together the four of us began an unknown journey that has culminated into something we hope will continue to grow. And why does this matter? 
because at UAGC, we have an incredible, we have incredible things happening related to student success and retention and providing our faculty and colleagues an opportunity to share this research within the academic community in a publication like the conference proceedings supports collaborative discourse that is a natural first step. So once we ironed out all of the details, all UAGC TLC workshop presenters were invited to submit a journal type paper for peer review and publication in the University of Arizona Global Campuses Teaching and Learning Conference Proceedings. Yay! The requirements were that submissions had to be original research or topics related to the conference theme. We accepted research, white papers, working papers as well, and please keep this in mind as you think about your TLC presentation and proceedings publication for next year. Jen and I reached out to our networks and we were able to pull together an impressive editorial board of leading higher education professionals. It was important to us to have a diverse voice of professionals who could add constructive feedback to the authors. We have 25 members on the editorial board from public land grant universities, private colleges and universities, international schools, and historically black colleges and universities. We also have some industry experts on the board as we shared it is so important that our colleagues have an opportunity to share their research, but we also wanted experts to give us feedback. So we'll do just that with these conference proceedings that are going to be published and available as an open access resource. We are pleased to share that the first annual TLC proceedings is on a path to success. We had nine papers submitted and have had a combined total of 18 peer reviews of those papers from across the globe, including Turkey, Zambia, England, Uganda, and U.S. universities such as the University of Wisconsin, the University of Texas, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, and Millsaps College, among many more. The final proceedings publications will be published in January. Stay tuned for more information and the location of that publication. Yes, look for the public look for the published proceedings in the new year. And as we wrap up, I want to formally invite you again to think about your future 2025 TLC workshop or research topic and plan to submit your paper for publication. Back to you, Haley, and thanks for letting us share about this very special project. Well, well, thank you both for spending some time and uh, with us today to share more about that information. And uh, everyone look look forward to uh, the TLC conference proceedings published in January of 2025. All right, everyone. Um, let's go back to our presentation here for a moment and um, recognize our first conference award recipients. Woo! This is getting exciting. You know, sometimes a closeout is just people like leaving a conference hall and trying to take the last of the food and run away. But we get this great announcement of these proceedings, which is fantastic. So I really appreciate Teresa and Jen, your leadership on that. And what a way uh, to capture good thinking and thoughtful approaches to writing out the research that we heard presented. And so I'm I'm super excited about that. And I'm super excited that we get to do some awards up in here as well. So I'm excited with this uh, this group and the Teach Us More Award. This award is uh, recognizing uh, the session at TLC that attendees expressed they would like to learn more about uh, via an article, say, maybe in our proceedings, maybe in our chronicle, a variety of ways that we might be able to think about um, inviting these uh, presenters to, to flesh these ideas out further into an article that we can all capture and read or whatever. The UAGC Chronicle, for those of you that came from one of the 200 other institutions that aren't part of UAGC, uh, will is a, a quarterly publication. It's a fantastic way of thinking about the way that we support um, teaching and learning in a variety of contexts. And we will invite these contributors to disseminate their article to the community. So the winner is from uh, the session entitled The First Step, Initiating a Conversation on Credit for Prior Learning and Belonging Research. We have Alexa Dunn, Matt Bergman, Melissa Dubois and Susan Forsay. Now, Melissa and Susan, I take too much French, so if I mispronounced your last names, I apologize for that. Oh, well, so congrats to these four individuals for doing that. I hope that you're all here to hear thunderous virtual muted Zoom applause that are coming, <laughs> that's coming at you right now. That's right. Thank you so much, Blake, for recognizing um, this 
this session, um, which was um, really incredibly well put together. Congratulations to our recipients. Great. Okay, I'm going to turn things over to Teresa Couric. Keeping in the vein of tech issues with this last session, I couldn't find my mute button. Um, I get the pleasure of introducing the TLC Community Award. The TLC Community Award recognizes an individual who demonstrated the highest level of engagement via the event platform through their interaction with the icebreaker activities, responding to polls, responding to discussion forums, and posting photos. This active engagement translates into an enriching experience for all of us and is a demonstration of the third learning outcome that we co-created on Tuesday about how we were going to make the most of this TLC learning community. So congratulations to TLC Community Award winner, Kelvin Hicks, who is a UAGC associate faculty member in the School of General Studies. Kelvin teaches our students in their very first course at UAGC, Gen 101. Kelvin, thanks for your engagement and we're excited for your award. Thank you, Kelvin, for your um, participation. You earned over 75,000 points in the Whova app, which takes a lot of dedication. Um, wow. Thank you again. <laughs> All right. And I, um, since Gary had to step out, Blake has <laughs> nicely agreed to step in. Thank you, team. And um, we will move on to our next award. Well, part of belonging is helping each other out uh, along the way. I just want to say, wow. Uh, showing us how it's done, Kelvin X, 75,000 points. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed, but thanks for demonstrating how we build belonging in an online community. All right, are we, am I waiting for a slide to advance? There Woo! we go. You're good. Uh, and just, I'm doing a lot of woos today. Maybe it's the <laughs> Whova app. I don't even know, if, is it Whova? I don't even know how you say it. I am just in a woo mood. So I just want to say, Say that so i this is fantastic i'm so pleased to be able to do this the tlc vanguard award um, is in recognition of a session that most effectively embraced the conference theme uh, through either theoretical inquiry or, or practical uh, research and this time the award goes to dr teresa larry handy uh, Teresa, who you saw a second ago talking about our conference proceedings, is uh, an assistant professor and program chair in the School of General Studies. And uh, her session was, let me read right, Unpacking the Code, Understanding Supporting Faculty Women of Color at Online Institutions. Teresa, let me read her. Uh, the session talked about an, as an awareness of importance of diversity as an increase in society, higher ed, and has begun to recognize the importance of supporting faculty of color student success and a student sense of belonging and inclusion specifically for marginalized students in our community. So Teresa, thank you for putting together that program. Thank you for your scholarship in this area. And thank you for demonstrating exactly what belonging means uh, for our, our award. So uh, I'm happy to give that to you. I want to call out these honorable mentions. We've got a lot of great folks that did a lot of great stuff um, in each of our sessions along the way, uh, resonant with our theme, including our honorable our, our honorable mention section of building belonging with military students through student teacher relationships. And we had James Bond, uh, Brian Haskett, James Moore, and William Woods put that session together for us. So thank you all uh, for doing that. Uh, so uh, four, four, four folks put together a great session. They were beat out by, by one great folk. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, what that really means is that we've got a lot of great minds going around this idea of belonging um, and a lot of great vanguards that are caring about belonging and learning for our students. So thank you all for, for doing that along the way. Thanks so much, Blake. All yeah. right, I'd like uh, Dr. Tony Farrell to come on screen. Oh, I see you there, Tony. If you can unmute. Uh, we are uh, quickly reaching the end of our award ceremony, um, and Dr. Farrell has an incredible announcement about the future of TLC. Thanks, Fish. Haley. Uh, so back in 2015, uh, Dr. Uh, Tisha Shipley and Steph Hill cornered me in a restaurant in San Diego with this idea uh, to launch the ECE conference for the College of Education. And so this conference has been successfully run for eight years. Um, and it is a certainly it is a, a proud part of the College of Arts and Sciences. However, we have an opportunity to enhance the ECE conference. So for the first time in TLC history, 
TLC is going to partner with the UAGC Early Childhood Education Conference to offer an additional day of development focused on early childhood education, including child development, strategies for children with uh, specific learning uh, needs, parenting techniques, and approaches to enhance the learning experience for diverse young students. And I couldn't be happier about this collaboration. I think the synergy between the two conferences is gonna provide our students and our colleagues with an opportunity to really understand the great, great, um, teaching and strategies related to early childhood education. So excited about the opportunity. Thank you, Haley. Tony, thank you so much. Wow. What an incredible collaboration opportunity we have here. Um, so I have a few remarks and then Dr. Naughton is going to close out our awards ceremony. So TLC um, attendees, please watch your email for a certificate of attendance, as well as a survey to provide your conference experience feedback. We welcome your suggestions for themes for TLC 2025 and beyond. Um, in fact, uh, feedback from our attendees last year helped determine the theme um, for the 10th annual UAGC Teaching and Learning Conference. So please share your ideas. Um, as TLC attendees, you can continue to engage in the Woo the app um, and all the way through February of 2025. So please consider utilizing that uh, platform to grow your professional network, discover individuals with whom you would like to present at the next conference or pursue your research interests. And uh, please do mark your calendar, speaking of the next TLC, for November 2025. We will come together as again as a community for the 11th annual UAGC Teaching and Learning Conference. Uh, and Blake, I turn it over to you. Thank you. All right, Haley, thank you again uh, for all that you've done to get us here and to get us uh, this wonderful learning experience, wonderful opportunity. So Haley, you're, you're a magician. I really appreciate what you bring to our community and our national community along the way. And your your partner in crime, Teresa Kirk, for, for helping and being a great leader in this space as well. So thanks, Teresa, to you too. Uh, look, folks, I, I only came to uh, this community just, I'm almost at, in a week, it'll be six months. I, time flies. Um, and uh, as someone that has been, like many of you that come from other institutions, I've been in a variety of other institutional types. Um, I've been at um, community colleges, regional publics, really elite private institutions, other land grants. Um, and my passion has always been of how we um, support students at a variety of different stages of their careers and their lives and the learning. And, this, and though I've led online education before, I've not been in the space uh, of of helping uh, lead the academic mission of an online, completely online institution. And one of the things uh, that makes this place incredibly special is how focused it is on our students' learning. Everything from uh, the learning outcomes that we take everything around to the way that we build our programming for their um, needs, wherever they are, whatever stage of their life. And I know that, that you from the UAGC community came to this conference to reinforce that and build on that because that's where your passion, your heart is. And you from other institutions came to this conference uh, to build the partnership because that's where your passion and heart is as well. And so I just want to congratulate and thank all of the presenters that came together and did this for us, that uh, shared ideas, were vulnerable in saying, this is what I tried, this is what I put out there and I learned from it, um, to say, hey, I'm excited about this and I want to share it uh, with you along the way, because that's how we all get better. If we just go to our own individual classrooms, our own advisor calls or, or whatever our individual work is, um, it's a whole lot harder uh, to, to learn and get better. And so that we have this space to do it is a, is a rare privilege and something that um, really makes me excited to be a part of this community along the way. So thanks for helping me feel like I belong. Um, and thanks to all of you for your work in helping our students to belong and help them in their learning journey as lifelong learners along the way. So congratulations to all of you for spending a few days out of your busy work and knowing that you have to catch up on your emails in the evening and knowing all the stuff that you had put aside to stop and learn. It's a big deal and it's really important that you took this time. So I appreciate all of you doing that. So I hope uh, you all see us again in 2025 as Haley pitched. I hope you pick up your copy of the proceedings uh, when Teresa and Jen are done with that wonderful document and we uh, get others to contribute to it as well and continue our learning um, and the, our learning community in its, in its great space. So thank you all and congratulations. And thanks for a wonderful 10th anniversary of the TLC. Yeah.